So AppSecond helps uh, users of serverless uh, services such as AWS Lambda to monitor their application, to trace, to troubleshoot faster, and to understand the cost of their applications. So AppSecond is an application performance monitoring company, so APM. Basically, we will tell the customer about their application on the business level. So no matter which infrastructure they choose, you, like anyone needs application monitoring. So Epsagon is meant to do it for this new type of application in serverless. So even if you don't manage infrastructure, you still need to know that your customers are getting the right service. The main announcement was the layers partnership. So Epsagon is uh, providing a layer for AWS Lambda, which enables the, their customers use it with very little effort. So it's actually automated, integrated into AWS, just one click. And uh, what led us is the realization that uh, AWS is a very important partner to us and this will enable our customers to get started much, much quicker and much faster and uh, eventually provide more value to them uh, quicker. Yeah, so the whole point of serverless is to provide uh, an organization a way to focus more on the business logic and less on managing infrastructure. And that way iterate faster, be more efficient, uh, be more efficient financially as well. So basically by allowing the cloud provider to take a lot of the burden off you, uh, you don't need to manage infrastructure at all anymore, not even virtual machines. You just focus on your business application and the configuration. So in theory, if everything works well, you can uh, deploy faster, you can have your developers more efficient, you can have less people doing operations in the management way so they can focus more on testing and automation and so on and have a more scalable and stable applications and save a lot of money if you do it the right way. For us uh, the point is to iterate with things as they go. We, we can't stuck in the same place. So if in the past we started with one direction and today we see that people start to use serverless in a new way and maybe now they are utilizing containers as well, so we have to go to this direction. Uh, so for us, the, the goal is to keep ahead of the future. We, read, we do read a lot and we try to keep updated with all the up-to-date content. We actually create a lot of content that doesn't, didn't exist before. So we try to become thought leaders in this space. We speak in a lot of conferences. And of course, the most of it comes from customers. So they will experiment something. They will try something that you didn't even think about. And then you see, okay, I'm hearing this from 10 customers, so I cannot ignore this. I have to do something about it. And, and then it can take your product and the company to completely other directions.